sie eher eine grosse Genugtuung, eine grosse Freude. Bei uns ist the one and only Tina Turner. Und es freut mich ganz besonders, dass sie bei uns ist. Thank you very much for being here. I'm so privileged and... Uh, I'm I will. Yeah. I, I am also excited to do it. I've been thinking about it. I've been here like three and a half years and mm -hmm. I thought, well, it's, it's time now that I did a little something here to let everybody know I'm here and that I'm happy and so on. That's good. And why are you granting this interview just to me? I'm so <laughs> privileged. Well, it's kind of like I've been watching the show and, and I've been told a few things about you and your struggle with your business. And sometimes with my life and how I make decisions is, well, it's good to do this show because it's new. And you're getting off your feet now with experiments and all. And I thought it's a good way now for me, and it's close to Christmas, to do it now because I haven't done anything. And I like your show, even though I thought, oh, I don't know. <laughs> he, can, he can go under the table sometimes with his questions. And I thought, well, no, you know. I would just make it very clear that I just want to say hello. Yes. And so it's a good show for okay. that. Okay. And a lot of people want to know how you feel here in Switzerland. When you tell your friends back in the United States you live in Switzerland, they ask you why. What is your answer? Yeah. But first of all, they think it's terribly cold here. Yes. Well, today it is. Yes. But normally, it's, the weather is wonderful here. I've had, really? I've had wonderful summers here. I've been here three and a half years now, and I've got to tell you, in Susanburg, It's the sun is there and it's hot and it's it's been wonderful summers. But people I, complain here about the weather. They think always. we don't have enough uh, sunshine. I mean, now you're coming from California and I'm you're raining all over the world. I know, but yes. you have been living in California. California, from there to London, yeah. there to Germany, yeah. and I've experienced wonderful weather in Switzerland. <laughs> the lake does not freeze over anymore. <laughs> that's an achievement. That is <laughs> no, it's. Gosh, I've experienced yeah. wonderful moments in uh -huh. Switzerland. Why did I move here? What was it all about? It was years of working here. And always, I always remembered something about that one town that I really liked a lot. And then I started to ask questions, and I learned that it's supposed to be very difficult to move to Switzerland. You have to rent for a very long time first <laughs> before you can buy. And I thought, oh, my goodness. And then I came here once. And David Bowie came to catch my performance. Uh -huh. And afterwards, we went to David's house. Uh -huh. And I asked him a little bit about it. And he basically said, it's wonderful here. It's because he travels all the time. So it, you feel it when you go away and you come back. Yes. That's when you know how wonderful it is. The town is beautiful to me. Yeah. I love the mountains. Of course, every time I tell someone that, they go, oh, yeah, yeah, the mountains. But this is my personal opinion. I love the mountains. I love the air. I love the city. I think the city is beautiful. It's my kind of town. It's just small enough where mm -hmm. I can get lost and find my way. I, I can basically say I'm happy here. I'm uh -huh. comfortable here. And that says a lot. Yes. And when you drive around town, you find your way around? <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a bit of a problem because I'm not a great navigator. <laughs> But that was what was... But you drive by yourself. Yes, yes, yes. And I made yes. that actually very clear that I yes. wanted to get in my car and drive and not be chauffeured. I wanted yes. to live a life here and... I've gotten lost a few times. Yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard when you met the Dalai Lama in Rikon, you went there, you had a private meeting with him. <laughs> and I was late because I got lost. <laughs> and then he yes? But well, he was uh, waiting for you and he was receiving you. Yeah, and then he wanted, wanted to get home. How did this Well, actually, about? why I was late is because after getting organized here, I found a storage. And so you drive past mm -hmm. the airport, you get into the Bulat area, yeah. and Cloton and all of that. It's wonderful out there. Yeah. And I had just become comfortable enough to be able to drive alone. Uh -huh. But when I returned, uh -huh. they had closed the road. Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought to myself, no, not today. Uh -huh. And so I was on a full tank and I just started to drive. Uh -huh. Well, in the process of that, finally I saw my off-ramp somewhere. I don't know uh -huh. where I was. But I was quite comfortable because it was, it was quite picturesque, as if I can call it. It was areas where I hadn't been. Uh, there was another time, I can tell you, when the streetcars changed colors. And I thought, oh, my God, the streetcars are not blue anymore. I don't know where I am. Couldn't, this couldn't be Zuri. No, not They anymore. were red. Were they red? Yes. <laughs> where, where were you? Oh, I don't know. But I got out of there. And then I had to get over into a lane uh -huh. because I saw the street stop. The word is about that long. Universus dot splats. 
Yeah. And I thought, oh, that's close to my house. That's close to home. But I hadn't given enough of a signal to come mm. over, or one of the two. I had given a signal and nobody was mm. yielding to it. So I had to pull over, and oh my goodness. Mm. It was not an accident, but there were a few cars. <laughs> crying, and no, no hitting. And I thought, oh, oh. no, my, my problem is I can't speak the language, so how can I defend myself if mm. something happens? So I stopped. The Range Rover was full of goods, and mm. I was, it was raining. A typical day that anybody would have pity on a woman, please, you know, with a, with a, in a foreign country. And, and this man gets out of the car and he came over and I thought, oh my goodness, now what? <laughs> but I thought, well, I can't sit here because I'm blocking the traffic. So I said, oh, please, I'm, I'm, I'm and I was sorry. I was embarrassed and sorry. So I pulled off. <laughs> oh my God, I pulled off. <laughs> and so listen, I went ahead onto my off oh, and I was taking a deep breath and found this car passed me. Yeah. And I thought, oh, it's okay. And then he started to weave mm-hmm. and I thought... Yeah. I don't need to pass this person. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's wrong. And there came the red light. Uh-huh. Oh, I thought, trouble. <laughs> Gosh, trouble. So this man came back to the <laughs> to me, and I left the window down a little bit because I didn't know yeah. what to expect. And so he said something in his tongue, and I said, oh, please, I'm, I'm really sorry. You know, I was lost, and I, I made a mistake. He said, yes, I'm big on this day. I'm big on this Oh, he's not Swiss. He's Italian. <laughs> I do know that. So I managed to get home. I managed to get... Out to see the Dalai Lama, and I made the calls, and mm. the effect was wonderful. And but uh, I've had a few nervous mm. moments, but I find my way. Yeah, That's but what I like. people are nice to you when they see you in the street and say, "Hey, this is Tina Turner." Yeah. No, not like yeah. that. No, that was a very, I would say, I would say a very. What can I say? One of your. Uh, how can I word it properly? I won't. I'll just say what happened. I was shopping <laughs> for children, and. My assistant was paying for everything, and I decided to stand on the street and have a walk. And there was this lady, and this gentleman came, very, mm-hmm. and carrying himself very mm-hmm. English, so to speak. He was in his three-piece suit, <laughs> and she was wearing a big brooch. And they saw me, and kind of lifted the eye, mm-hmm. and I thought, oh, you know what, so to speak, you know. <laughs> you get a little nervous if you get to the tent. Yeah. And she turned, and she said, we are happy to have you here. Oh, wasn't that nice? That's and here funny. I thought, I yeah. don't know what I thought. That's and then they would have had the perfect it over. It is, yes. Everybody thinks this way. Yeah. But when you go, do you, uh, when you want to buy a dress, you just hit a shop or you call them in advance to... No, no, no. Now what happens is I, I have found out how to park here. It's very difficult because you can't park. You can't go back and put the money in the meter and leave the car there. You've got to move it. That was major. Uh-huh. Anyhow. I'm able to go into town now. There is a hotel where I can park, mm-hmm. and the service will park the car for oh, me. Good. So I get to walk the streets yeah. like everybody else. Yeah. And sometimes it's nice. Sometimes yeah. the, the ladies pass me, they blow a kiss and keep <laughs> going. The young people come yeah. and ask for an autograph. It's it the really? younger ones, yeah. But is it uh, happening as often as in other countries, or are they a little bit more uh, reserved? No, i got to tell you, the attitude that people, for me, that people think about the Swiss people is not exactly so. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like almost everywhere else in certain parts of the world. In Italy, it's very difficult to walk the streets. Mm-hmm. In France, it's difficult to walk yeah. the streets. I say in Paris, yeah. so to speak, yeah. and let's say Rome yeah. or Milano. Here, I can walk the streets. Yeah. I've noticed the younger generation of people and the young kids with the bikes and with the caps yeah. turned to the side, they'll come up and talk. Uh-huh. They come sit. You like that, or? I don't mind it sometimes, you know. And, no? But what I don't like is to say no to the people uh-huh. because it kind of hurts their feelings, yeah. you know, to say that I met her and yeah. she denied me. Yeah. But I always make a little bit of time, yeah. and uh, it's been all right. Yeah. But I, we had dinner together lately in a restaurant in Zurich, and people didn't really come up to the no. table. No. They didn't turn around all the time. No. No. They really tried to be Certain respectful. Certain restaurants, I think, the attitude is what they see that you're eating, they see that you're with people and they don't bother you. Mm-hmm. It's mostly if I'm walking the streets mm-hmm. or if I'm in the car, the, mm-hmm. the kids will come up with a bicycle and come to the side mm-hmm. of the car or whatever. But, mm-hmm. yeah, in public places like restaurants, mm-hmm. they kind of, I haven't had any harassment. Oh, yeah. Do you know any word in, in Swiss German or... Chrissy! German? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is, you know. I know the accent. I yeah. know the accent now. Okay, say it again. Grüezi. 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 Grüezi, Tina Turner. Grüezi, Tina Turner. I can follow. <laughs> <laughs> any, anything else? No. Well, I have some, but, you know, at the moment I, I can't find them because yeah. I'm kind of like uh, with the camera before yes, me here. Okay. But, you know, I had lots of workers in the house. Yes. And it's not that I learned it from television that much when I first moved here, yeah. but it was from actually workers and hear them, yo, yo, and, you know, this kind of thing. It's in your head when they're around you. And respectfully, I must yeah. say, but I did 
pick up the the, the speaking language in the city from from the people working on the grounds and the gardeners, etc. You know. But you like it here. The way I know is you're moving to a new house on the lake. Yeah. So would you like to become a Swiss citizen eventually? Well, you know, Edgar, it's very hard to say things like that on camera. At the moment, I've been here three and a half years. Yes. Um, it's been great in Susanburg. It's yes. been wonderful, actually. In the course of one day, I've seen rain, sunshine, and snow. Uh -huh. For me, I love it because I love seasons, and I love the rain mm -hmm. and all that. And then, at a certain point, when I decided to think about, oh, what do I want to do? Do I want to buy? Do I want to rent? I thought, okay, I'll rent longer. And then Urban bought a boat, and then uh -huh. we met people on the lake, mm -hmm. and we thought, okay, we'll make a change and go and live on the lake first and see yeah. what that's like. And of course it's different on the lake yeah. because it's another whole different sure. feeling. So I found a wonderful house, and I decided, all right, for the next few years now, I will go there, and I will live there for mm -hmm. a while. And then I think there is when mm -hmm. I'll make my decision oh, on yeah. everything, uh -huh. learning a little bit more to speak yeah. and... But you don't move. Uh, there was a story in the newspaper you, that you have trouble with your neighbor because he's barbecuing all the time and he didn't so, like this. It's so untrue. It's so untrue. I don't okay. Know, don't know where no. it came from. It, it really is because actually I live in the front of the house yes. and all the barbecuing for those Schraver houses are on the back of the house, yeah. so to speak. And um, they all right. They don't mm -hmm. bother me. Of course they stand there. As soon as the garage opens, mm -hmm. they're standing there looking. Mm -hmm. And I speak, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. they haven't they haven't actually been a bother. Okay. But... Uh, do you plan to spend most of your year in Switzerland or because you have a house in south of France? So how do you divide your year between Switzerland and south of France? Well, you know, it's fun at the moment because I, I feel like I have a second chance at life. Irvin and I just get in the car mm -hmm. whenever he has a bit of time from the office mm -hmm. and we drive four and a half to five mm -hmm. hours to France. We're there in the evening. The next day we I have... Right there. You don't... We drive. Yeah. You know why? Because me as an American, I love the view. I love looking at Europe. Oh, I you thought you'd take a private plane. Oh, I did all that. I do that when I work. You know, I do, <laughs> when I'm not working, I do everything. Everything that I do when I'm working, when I'm not working, I do the opposite. opposite. You, you, you I, behave like a normal person. Absolutely. I don't want to see a private plane. What do you see? The clouds, you know? And you get off, you see nothing. Yeah. Italy by night and by day. Switzerland to drive through mm. the mountains and to see it, I have not grown tired yet. Yes. It's absolutely, and people say, oh, you don't fly. No, I don't fly. Sometimes yeah. I fly if I need to get there quickly. Sure. Sure. But our pleasure in how we live yeah. is to yeah. say, huh, what do you think? Yeah. Let's do, we want to go? Yeah. yeah, let's go for two, three days and... And uh, you do that. No, we don't have a plan where but, all summer we stay there. Yeah. All, no, but because mo Switzerland is also beautiful, yeah. too. You, but you live here more than in south yes. of France? Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. That's your main... Do you have an apartment in, uh, or a house in Hollywood still? No, my family is there. Yeah. They have homes. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, know, you know how I view my life in America is I live there the first 50 years of my life, and the second, second 50 mm -hmm. years I live in Europe, and that's mm -hmm. what I've been doing. That's great. And everybody asks me, I have to ask you, how do you look so great? I mean, you just had your birthday recently. Ooh. It wasn't your 25th. <laughs> we can say that much. And you look so great, so fabulous. How are you? I'm happy. Yeah. I'm, I'm happier than I've ever been in my life. The last five years, I can say, or maybe more, I've experienced mm -hmm. happiness. There's, there are two. I remember when I used to say, oh, I'm happy. But there's another happiness mm -hmm. that has taken over my life at the moment. Maybe it's because I'm older. But I'm healthy. Uh -huh. I realized the last years of my work, that my health was very important because mm. when I've had to go on stage not well, I know the difference. Uh -huh. But actually, Roger, what it is, if you think about it, is for as long as I've been traveling, I've learned enough about makeup, I've learned enough about yeah. hair, clothes, to know what makes mm. me look best uh -huh. and to care about it. But still, then, you have to keep it and yeah. keep it. You work out every day? No. No. <laughs> no. 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 No, I'm fortunate that I've always been that skinny type of a girl, you know, not no. having to worry about that, so. So, and you have a special kind of food. Did you change your food uh, patterns uh, since you changed to also your view of life? Some. I think uh, when I first became homeopathic, when I started to take actually natural medicines, yeah. I, I was ill. Mm -hmm. I was very ill. And um, I went to a doctor mm -hmm. in London, and he explained to me that I had to totally detox the body to get rid of this um, pneumonia bronchial yeah. problem. And I had taken medicine, and I had to get rid of all of that. 
And once I did all of that, my palate actually changed. Mm. Ah. So I eat a bit cleaner. I mean, I eat. I don't eat so that much soul food. Mm. Is how what I was brought up on. Anyway. Oh, really? But you do your own cooking? Sometimes. Sometimes. What's your favorite dish when you cook? Hmm. Let's see. I forget these days. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would say at the moment. Pasta. Garlic with pasta. It's very yeah. clean. It's simple. The, the taste is good. And a, and a salad. This is, when I'm alone and Irvin is away, yeah. I just make a simple pasta with garlic and a salad. Are you do it by dinner. yourself? Is he a way? I mean, we have to, now, you mentioned Irvin a few times. We have to say, who is Irvin? Irvin is, I say, I, 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 I try to find a new term because boyfriend is a, it's a little bit old now. He's my man. He's my <laughs> He's companion. We've been together 13 years. Yes. And you, marriage was ever an issue? Well, we are married. <laughs> no, I think uh, I've been married. I, we, mm -hmm. we won't have children. Mm -hmm. We're happy as we mm -hmm. are. I, I just think for a marriage for us would just be a party. Mm -hmm. Actually, so we decided that uh, until the need comes, we stay as we are. Mm -hmm. Okay, three years ago you were on stage for the last time, and I'd like to show an, uh, a little piece of it, and I ask you a question. Okay. And one of your favorite earliest hits, "River Deep." Mountain High. Uh -huh. It's very touching for me. How is it for you to see the well, two peanuts? I wasn't looking at myself, actually. Yeah. I was looking at Kenny Moore, my pianist. Yeah. He passed on the last tour, oh. so I won't have him anymore. Oh, yeah, he's been with me for a long time, but I'll miss, I'll miss it. I looked at the girls. Yeah. Um, you know what happens when you're out there doing it? It's a job, and you don't, you can't appreciate mm -hmm. it. But when you look back at mm -hmm. it, it's so wonderful. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like seeing yeah. it. And Not often. See the two but... Tina's, and I mean, uh, does that sound uh, look very far away, far back, or because they can sing in th in sync? Yeah, I don't know how Roger, the other Roger, did that. My manager, right? Yeah. Actually, that was quite unusual for me to actually stand there and sing it live yeah. and that was years and years yeah. ago to link it up with the, to sync it up actually with the, with the vocals from that long ago but um oh gosh it, you know what i've done pretty good with everything to be able to look back and criticize it so much and this watching this one i don't criticize it no, so much no no it's great yeah. so everybody is asking also will we see you on stage again yeah i'm coming i i'm enjoying life now i'm enjoying not having a schedule. Actually, when I booked to, uh, to come to see you, I was so nervous. I thought, oh my God, <laughs> I'm a little bit out of touch, and mm -hmm. I haven't really kept up with music a lot. Mm -hmm. And if you ask me a question, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't want to seem like that much out of touch. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I had planned to take up three years, but actually, I think something maybe next year is coming up, and mm -hmm. I'll be doing. What I want to do now is change my life from working so hard. I want to do short, small. Um, jobs like mm -hmm. Christmases or maybe New Year's or special performances. Mm -hmm. But then we'll see you in Switzerland on stage again. Of course, yes. That's great. Yes. When your colleagues, like uh, you mentioned David Bowie or Mick Jagger, when they tour here, do they drop by and come and see you? No, usually we're kind of, you know, we're more remote than people think we are. Yeah. We're kind of like two different, but usually when they hear I'm out of town, it's yeah. just kind of moved uh -huh. that way. I think it was two years ago, when the, or maybe three years ago, when the Stones were here. I caught their performance yeah. in... Um, oh, you did? Yeah. That. And this year I didn't catch it, actually, because I was away. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, we go to see each other, mm -hmm. and, um, gosh, we're mm -hmm. kind of like old old friends. Yeah. Uh -huh. You talked about going back to the movies. You had some great roles in the movie Mad Max and The Acid Queen. Yeah. Is something up your sleeve coming soon? I've made it known that I still want to act, even yes. though I realize now that it's much harder work than mm -hmm. what I do. Mm -hmm. And but I think it's another part that needs to be expressed some kind of mm -hmm. way. I like those rugged parts, those really hammer parts. It's, uh, what? Like what? Uh, well, like Mad Max or like Acid <laughs> Queen. And I was offered <laughs> Color Purple, as you know. Yeah. And it just wasn't church and, and, and sadness is not something that I want because I've had that already. I've experienced that one. Mm -hmm. I want to go forward. And I don't want to take a movie. I don't think that would be acting. That would be a little bit too close to what has been reality. Mm -hmm. So I, I like the, the kind of rough parts. Maybe a Bruce Willis Die Hard. <laughs> Part seven or eight. Part seven or eight. <laughs> what, do you follow what's happening in the movies you mentioned before, in, in, in the music and so? Yeah. Yeah. How do you keep abreast? I mean, you, well, 
Roger, my manager, Roger Davies, yes. he's constantly sending me movies. Yes. I have an assistant in America yes. that I keep up buying movies, and so mm -hmm. I get them. And often you, mm -hmm. I can get them when I go yes. to London and yes. buy So I, I can't... As well, being here, so do you read newspapers from America or watch television besides uh, talk tackle? <laughs> watch television a lot because of Irvin. He watches yes. the news yes. and he has to keep up with the station. Yes. So therefore I keep up. I, I Sometimes I can watch and not know what is being said, yes. but I can... I can catch the the gist of it, yes. so to speak, you know. So, American television? Well, well we have on? that, uh, how do you call NBC? that channel where we get out of England, uh, those movie channels, and okay. uh, you, mm -hmm. and the news, mm -hmm. and sometimes periodically mm -hmm. we watch we watch everything a little mm -hmm. bit, just to, so I will know what's around me, so to speak. Are, are you a computer freak? No, not mm -hmm. at all. Never try this? You know what I don't like? Mm -hmm. I, just, I hate these machines coming out. Every time I get comfortable with a machine, mm -hmm. they change it. And I have to learn all over again. Yeah. I don't okay. like it at all. I'm very old-fashioned when it comes to trying mm -hmm. to sell me something new that I have to constantly learn. I like it simple. Yes, no, on and off. Uh, Goodbye, hello. Okay. That's my style. <laughs> How do you spend Christmas this year? Uh, this Christmas will be a yeah. different one because I'm moving. Yes. And the house is basically packed up. So I'm moving a lot. I'm going to Cologne to see yes. friends and, uh -huh. and Irvin's family. Yeah. And then we come back to Switzerland. And yeah. this Switzerland, this Christmas, I'm spending some time with with some people around town, seeing uh -huh. what restaurants are. Mm -hmm. what, what happens in Switzerland yeah. around Christmas, you know? Yeah, not then that we, much, not no? that much. It's well, not I'm party not, time. not for you. Wait a minute. We're not talking about party time for me. We're talking about what is in this, what happens around Christmas for me in Switzerland? Mm -hmm. What so, am I going to find? Well, I'll go to some restaurants. Mm -hmm. I will walk the streets. The restaurants are nice here. Eh? You I like believe restaurant. that. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Right. So I'm exploring Zurich around yeah. Christmas this year. Yes. Then right afterwards, I will go to the French house yes. and see a few friends out of Italy and France. Yes. Is always mixed yes. together. And I think New Year's will mm. be also with uh, with Eros, actually. Oh, he yeah. invited me. Eros. To, yeah, he called yeah. and he said, we would like for you to come to my seat in Milan. I thought, aha, uh -huh. that's a new way of expressing it. Come to my house as my guest. <laughs> I have been instructed to invite you at the seat of Eros. <laughs> da -da -da! You, go, you will go there? Yeah, we'll yeah. go for New Year's there. Yeah. Then we come back uh, and go to Austria for um, to visit some friends mm -hmm. in, um, in the snow. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you, you try skiing? I tried it. Yes, and? I was you very like afraid because I was very high up <laughs> and I don't ski. Uh, you, you try it again? Uh, I'll year? try. I, I won't give up. No. But I, the height is, is quite really? uh, staggering for me. Yeah. For a girl from the deep south to go up to go the Swiss. High. Slope, and, and come something. down. Now, if I wasn't a ski, I could come down. <laughs> so skis, it's another whole way of walking. Yeah. No, it's quite adventurous yeah. here for me. Yeah. Do you send Christmas cards, to, for example, to the boys back in the States? Yeah, I do all my work there, which is yeah. very difficult, but it's a lot of writing. But, yes, uh, you do that? Yeah, I do it all. You, you write a lot of letters? No, yeah. I don't do letters, yeah. but I, I do thank cards. yous. Yes. I do Christmases, and I yes. do this type of uh, communication, so to speak. So we can look forward to see Tina yeah. in Switzerland. And a lot of people think this is provincial compared to the places you've lived before. And now you tell us the weather is nice, the mountains are nice, okay. the people are nice. Now we feel much better. Well, you know what I think is, I've been here three and a half years and I'm old enough to know what I like. I've, I've sussed it out uh, instinctively enough to know that other people's view has nothing to do with mine. Mm -hmm. I've seen a different view. Mm -hmm. I have not been abused by the public at all, even for the fact that I don't speak the tongue as yeah. yet. I would love to be able to hear, yeah. but in time I will. Yeah. I've been welcome here. Yeah. I, everything, Everywhere I look, mm -hmm. I'm happy with what right. I see. So I can only mm -hmm. express myself by saying that I think I've found a place here that mm -hmm. looks like a very long future for me. That's great. Thank you. Really, we'd like to keep you, and next time maybe... We have another chat and you tell us about all these nice people we never meet. I never meet because I'm not Tina Turner. <laughs> well, you need to walk the streets and get out of the studio stuff. <laughs> Tina, thank you very, very much it's for coming. That is so great. Yeah. And that was so inter interesting to hear. Well, now remember. that I know that uh, that I'm comfortable on the show, I might come back and we'll chat longer. Yes. But okay. Easy chat, you know? Easy. Very That's nice it. and easy. You see, yeah. sometimes I can be a nice person. That's right. And I'm, I'm able to show the people that you can be a nice person. Yes, I have to be. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very, very much. My pleasure.